Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy Windows 11. Well, basically, deploy or plot fair is basically uh, the process to uninstall the pre-installed application which are coming within the Windows. Now, basically, in the Windows 10, you may have seen that when you are installing Windows, after that, you will see that many unwanted applications are available, that which includes the Candy Crush, uh, I don't know, the Solid, uh, solitaire uh, card which is also a game and many other type of application now the same thing goes uh, in windows 11 but uh, in windows 11 it is a bit cleaner compared to the windows 10 so still uh, if you want to remove some of the packages uh, or the apps that are pre-installed uh, you can learn how to remove them in this video and also the thing is that most of those applications or a uh, packages that are uh, coming pre-installed within the windows they cannot be uninstalled some of them not almost or not all of them some of them can, can't be uninstalled from the control panel uh, or the settings uh, from this page uh, which is called apps and features from here you can uninstall them basically not every one uh, of those applications is available so let's begin the process without wasting any of time uh, so the very first thing is that you have to visit this website uh, called uh, wikigain.com and the post is basically deployed windows 11 now i have just written and published it uh, here and besides uh, the methods that i have mentioned here uh, are very accurate and it can work without any issue and in this article i have mentioned only two options uh, the very first option is basically the PowerShell and the second method is basically the uh, application called this is win 11 which you can get it from github but before starting you may uh, you have to make sure that uh, take a backup your backup of your files and then create a restore point now uh, based on the uh, post experience of using the deployed where or deploying the windows uh, basically some users have complained that they have lost their data or the performance has gotten even worse so it is not 100% accurate that it will be 100% uh, responsive so for that cases you have to make sure to uh, you have to prepare your computer the very first thing is that you have to, uh, attach any external hard drive or upload your files into a cloud storage uh, so you have a backup of, of your files the second thing is you have to create a restore point which is uh, basically taking a backup of the settings of the windows so how you can take it just uh, on this start menu or click on the search box here and then search for uh, restore now simply search restore you will see yet a restore point will appear now you have to open this uh, here you can see by default uh, if you have not enabled the uh, system protection or basically the restore point it will be turned off now to turn it on you have to simply click on configure and make sure to enable the turn on system protection and then click ok now it is not hard ok the moment you have uh, enabled the system protection if you want to create uh, restore point click create and then rename it uh, name it deployed so uh, before deb deployed how about two and then click create and wait a moment it's going to create a restore point okay now it is done click okay now if you want to restore the uh basically suppose you have already deployed it and you want to restore back to the normal just you can simply uh, click system restore and then from here you have to simply click choose a different restore point and here you can see that all the uh, restore points that may have taken using uh from an application which you have installed or uh, through windows update or you have taken manually all of them will be uh, available here just click on one of them and then click next and then click uh, finish it's going to restart and everything will be back to normal so basically this is how you can create a restore point and then how to uh, restore the restore point that you created now let's begin the process okay as i said before that there are two multiple methods but i have mentioned two of those those methods in this article let's begin with the uh, final uh, option 
it is really easy because many people are preferring this option now you have to uh, click here and basically you will be on the tool called this is win 11 okay after that one you have to download this tool uh, make sure that you have to download the latest version uh, of this tool and it is just click on it and then download it on your system hold on please let me i have to download it on the desktop so we'll have to extract it also there now it is done now right click and then extract it okay now it is extracted now let's go ahead and turn it on or basically launch it just uh, double click on it Now you can see that it, it is basically the, its window and uh, uh, you can see that basically it has five panels of the window but you can see that it's a page one which is basically you can see that customized windows 11 with the open tweaks you can basically customize the settings personalization and anything else that you can see they are available okay for now i'm not going to do anything there specifically i want to remove the uh built-in applications or the packages that are coming with the windows 11 so here you can see that these are the 51 apps that you can see here uh are the packages that are that have come uh with the pre-installed of the windows among them you can see that there is the your phone application uh there is windows terminal sound recorder notepad windows maps feedback windows communications windows camera and many more you can see that basically these are a lot of things if you want to remove them suppose i want to remove the windows phone just click, uh, simply click move selected and now you can see that it is in the recycle bin now simply click empty recycle bin and it is basically gone uh, there is also the page 3 uh, which is basically the the creator of this tool is recommending to install this application which i am not recommending you at all to use it and there's also the page 4 which is basically an automated an automation task well uh, just simply click uh, here or add your own code and then uh, apply the selected codes or run it now these codes will run automatically in the background so i don't think that you that you should do it and then there is the final option which is basically create your own tweaks with the extension that you can see are available so basically this is the simple tool that you can use to deploy windows 11 the, the second as i said before only the page two is really important so when you once you are done click close and that's all this is the simplest method that you can use now there's also the other method which is powershell uh, and you can see that i have written a very uh, extensive article about it okay the very first thing is that you have to uh, run powershell as administrator and then copy this command to show all the uh installed application within the windows 11 okay our shell run it as administrator now paste the command that i that you copied okay make it full screen so here you can see that these are basically the application that uh, are installed or basically pre-installed with the windows 11 so you can see the list and uh if you want to remove a specific one uh, you have to just simply come here uh, type this command you can see that this is the command uh, instead of the name you have to type the name of uh, the app or package that you want to remove suppose uh, i want to remove hold on please Control c copy i want to remove uh, windows or basically get started this is not needed at all I'm going to open Notepad. Uh, I'm going to paste this thing, and instead of the app, I am going to paste the name of the app that I just copied. Okay, for now, CLS, oops, Control C. Now, just simply paste the command, and now you can see that it has removed the application. Get started. Let's search for get. Started. Is it there? 
okay restart is required so basically you have to restart your computer and after restart you will see that it is there now there's also another command uh, which is basically this one if you want to remove all the applications uh, except for the calculator you can run this command and there's also uh, the other command uh, the same way that you can remove all the apps at once you can restore them too from here and finally uh, it here is a list of commands for deploying windows 11 uh, there is a lot explained here if you want basically you can read it you can copy the command and paste it in the powershell and run it basically there is nothing a lot just you have to simply copy paste and it will it will be done in a moment so basically this is how you can deploy windows 11 without any issue mm, let me know if you have any problem uh, i'll be really glad to guide you so have a nice day goodbye and i will meet you guys in the next video